Hi guys. How are you? I will. We are on and we're going to speak about the final part of the Remo system today. I want to thank you guys for logging in. Um, it's been a tough day today as we navigate um, the holidays, but we are also, um, we're navigating uh, uh, COVID and it, it's, it's been a tough time, you know, for us having to navigate and plan in the middle of, uh, of season. And, um, you know, as a business owner, it definitely uh, uh, puts a toll on you, you know what I mean? And I know a lot of, um, sorry, a lot of small businesses, a lot of step teams artistically are like, like hurting right now. Um, I own a location, I have a physical location, so every time there's a closure, definitely uh, is something that dwells on my head. Um, so we're in New York, and we're gonna get started now. So um, thank you guys for joining us. My name is Remo. I apologize if you hear a little bit of a noise. I'm in my studio, and we're gonna go over the last part of the Remo system. Uh, yeah, that's we're gonna go over the last part of the memorial system. Okay, I'm gonna try to be right has the envy Chrissy. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. I'm gonna be has um, energetic as I normally can be with the holidays, but again, uh, for many people who are celebrating, they're happy. Uh, for myself, I am happy, but um, again, it's a difficult time for us during quarantine because we want to be safe, but we also want to make sure we keep our doors open because that's really what's important. Where's Mr. J? <laughs> He's not here right now. He's not here. But thank you for joining us. So, yeah, the step is against the wall on the side. So, thank you so much. So, we're going to be starting. Is everybody... Oh, hi, Nyla West. Ah, Nyla. How are you? Thank you for... Nyla, thank you. Are you coming, Nyla? Because I'm throwing you. Mr. J was my coach. Yes, he was. Mr. J is doing well. Um, Mr. J is no longer with us. He works full time. Um, and another com another he doesn't do step right now at this time, he said. But he's a great teacher, Mr. Brandon. Great tap dancer, so we loved having him. And thank you, sweetheart, for joining us. So, how's things with Brooklyn the Center? You guys remote? Yeah, no? Yeah, probably. I think all the schools are closed right now. That's how out of it I've been a little bit. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to make this short and brief. Again, our, my name is, just to start this again, my name is Remo, I'm the founder and president of the Art of Stepping, and I've created something called the Remo System. The Remo System allows you to document step in three levels, called code, angle, and movements. Yeah, you're fully remote. I know, honey, but it's okay. You're fully remote right now. Um, hopefully, when uh, COVID-19 is a little bit more controlled, uh, we can get back and see your beautiful faces and work with you, because uh, we miss working with you guys. So with that being said, uh, the Remo system is broken into three components, code, angle, and movement. That's right. Coding is with the letter of the alphabets that we use to put our beats together. And angles is where we capture precision. If you go back to our IGTVs, you'll see the episode. And lastly, we have the actual movement. Now, the movement portion, I'm going to slide you over here. Hopefully, you can see it. The movement section is where we actually document how you guys move on stage. So I'm only, today we're only gonna release three of them. Uh, moving on. We're gonna release three different, three of the actual movements. I hope you guys can see it. I apologize if you can. Do it. So in regards to movement, how do we document movement? So the main thing in choreography is making sure that you can document every single component, right? So you can create original choreography. So if you notice in the Art of Stepping Studio, we always have a whiteboard and everything that we do because we write down our choreography that allows us to develop and you know, that's our creative process. So movement. So we have, we've documented how you guys move on stage. So how do we do that? Well, we have three, well, I'm only releasing three of the movements, first of all, that we do. Um, but we have, we have about 20 something ways to document on stage. So for the first thing that we do is if we have a letter, so remember when you took the first episode with me, we documented beats, so for instance, you know, you learned your ABCs, right? You learned code, angle, and movement, which are codes, right? And then you learned how to add um, angles, precision to it. So if this is a coding, right, and this is a beat, so this we would call a beat, an actual beat, right? So if this is our beat that we're gonna put choreography to, um, I'm gonna slide you over. How do we document and let you, how do we tell you how to move on stage, right? So for instance, 
um, we use arrows. So if I want you to move up the stage or down stage, I can put an arrow next to a letter. So how do we do it? We always put the arrow in, on the right side of the letter to let us know the direction that we're going. So if I, so this up arrow equals up. So I'm just gonna turn you a little bit over here. So this arrow going upwards means that I want you to go up. So if I put a letter C and I put this arrow right here, I'm letting you know that I want you to go up. How do I know when I want you to go up? Well, you always are gonna go up on the first footing of the B, which is why it's on the right side. Um, a lot of the Rimmel system is with the right side. Why? Because I'm a righty, that's what we do. All right? Um, <laughs> so for instance, we apologize, that's my fault, excuse me. Sorry, that's my husband. If you're married, you know you always have to pick up the phone on the live. All right. <laughs> so if you put an arrow right in front of it, you know the direction I want you to go. So it's telling me I want you to go up. So that should make sense to you, right? I'm going to explain that in a second. So I'm going to put an arrow right over here, right next to it. And I'm going to let you know I want you to move up. Now notice that I put the commas in between because it's giving me a one second pause. So commas equal a one second pause. That allows you to separate the beat in between. So remember, every single code, every single uh, coding, and every single angle has its own section. By putting the commas in between, you get to separate it, right? Um, the arrow going down. So if you notice this arrow down, it's telling me I wanna go down. So what I'm gonna use is probably put it down here. I should probably write it over. I'll put it, uh, I'll write this over here. So I can separate it. So if you notice, I put cab, car, uh, cab and I put tap, top left 90 and top right 90, right? So if I wanna put the arrows, I put this arrow that I want going up, and then I put this arrow that I want going down. I'll put the commas back in. So if you notice, the commas is actually creeping the separation from the code so I can be able to write it down, right? And then the next thing that I have is something called four corners. One of the biggest mistakes when people perform is that you see, unless it's set with choreography, um, people tend to turn their backs on the audience and you don't want to do that. When you're performing, you always want to keep your eyes and your body movement on stage and looking at the audience. People always remember the first five seconds and the last five seconds of, of a marriage or choreography and a performance. You want to keep that eye contact. You want to keep the consistency so that, um, you know, they can see your choreography, right? So, for instance, so we have chest in four corners. That means four corners. What does four corners mean? So, that if I put a box around it, I am telling you that I want you to go in four corners. That means if you're standing here and your second corner would be here, right? And your third corner would be here and the fourth would be here. The reason that it will never be back here because we don't, again, put our backs to the audience. So, I might, so again, we are live in the lab, the AOS dance studio, so we have classes going on. So that's a little, that's Mike right there coming in for salsa on with Dubrali. So if you notice, we, we did the um, arrows and the corners. So we have a lot of different movements. So if you see on our choreography, you may see um, this, you may see uh, this, you may see uh, uh, this, or you may see this, uh, things like that. A lot of the equations, a lot of the, the, the numbers and framing around the letters, it actually, the framing around the letters and or on the right of it, um, such as the shapes, is actually telling us the direction that we want you to go and the movement we want you to hit when you're on stage. So again, it's not so much the coding will let you know what letters of the alphabet mean and they'll give you the movements for the alphabet, right? You will document all the movements. Um, however, angles will give you the precision, but the movement will give you actually how to. So when you look at a beat and you see this, you can actually say, okay, I know exactly where you want me to do. I know exactly how you want me to move. And again, every single beat is, um, is on single count. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, Step Lord from West Africa. Thank you for taking the class. So um, that's pretty much it. So I'm releasing only three of the codes, uh, three different other movements. If you wanna catch up to the angles and the coding, I just go online. Next month, we're gonna be doing a challenge. Next month, we, every week when we go on live, we're gonna be building up combinations. I'm gonna teach you how to take an actual coding system and start putting them together into a full choreography. So, you know, we'll, we'll be testing out the different music. Um, and lastly, do not forget, if you're not following, you can follow my personal IG, which is House of Remo, um, House of Remo, and that'll give you everything that's going on with Remo, my brand, and the work that I'm doing uh, with, throughout the company. And I thank you guys so much for following us. So we're gonna test this out. If you write this down, I'm not gonna write it in a piece of paper, um, but if you write this down now,
And quickly, I can challenge you. If you write this down and then use the hashtag, Art of Stepping, we will repost you. Excuse my script, um, but if you use the hashtag, we will repost you. So we're doing calf, um, and we're doing top left 90, top right 90. So we're doing chest moving up, arms in four corners, bottoms and right. Um, bottoms going down and top left and top right 90. So let's try. Let's see what we can do and put this together. Cool? Okay. So I'm going to put you guys back down. You know what I'll do if you guys tag us? You know what would be really cool? If you guys actually do the, the coding that I'm going to tell you um, and you tag us, we will send you masks. We have some new masks that came out. Um, we're really super excited about it. Uh, look at it. So we're headed to comp this season, obviously in the dance world and of course the stepping world. And we got a little logo, our dance studio. We're really, and it's, it has the thing. It's, it's something we really like. <laughs> For any of my family members, that's your Christmas present. All right, so let's get started. So we're gonna put it together. So we know we have the chest. I'm assuming, I'm not gonna go through the choreography because of course, if you did our coding system, you'll know what it is. So we did chest and we're gonna do chest moving forward, right? So if it's coming up with the right foot, again, starting position would be your formation. You're coming up, so it would be with the right foot. I'm just going to go opposite because I know we're seeing each other opposite. So the arrow says to go up. So that means the first count is going up. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know C with the arrow up means seven. So let's put it together. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, if you notice with my second hit, because I'm not actually supposed to stomp on it, I'm just dragging it up to come for the count. The reason that we're actually documenting is because I'm telling you to go one foot up. If you're going one foot up, that means it guarantees that we're always in the same line formation. So that is why we document it. Now you can document it and say you want it on the second foot, third foot, but for this sake, we're not at this level, we're on the live, let's just go forward. So we're doing chest moving forward on the right, um, right foot, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're good, thumbs up. Then we're doing arms in four corners, right? So we know what arms are because we did the coding. So it's four corners. So we're gonna hit, when we are pivoting towards our right, um, using our right footing, that means we're turning. So the first count would be a pivot here. That would be the first count. I don't know my, I don't know if it's dying or not, but I'm just gonna keep on moving. I don't know if you guys are talking, but I'm just, just gonna keep, just go with it, okay? So with your right foot, if it's four corners, if it's the letter A in a box in four corners, that means you're pivoting four corners. So this is your first corner, right? Sorry, this is your first corner starting position. Then you're gonna pivot and go to your second corner. And then on the next one, you're gonna pivot and come here. And on the next one, you're gonna come here. So you have four corners. Remember, you don't turn your, your body to the audience. So I am going to do this backwards because you guys are doing it forward. So I'm gonna try my best here. All right, so you're here. So you're here on chest, right? So we're going into arms. So actually, I'm gonna do regular arms. So we're pivoting, five, six, seven, eight. So we just did four corners. So notice the pivot. Every time I start, I stomp on my right foot. That is what I used to hit the knee. So I was like, bop on the first one, bop on the second one, bop on the third one and four. So it was four counts that I actually hit to come in. Make sense? All right, I'm gonna keep it moving. So we have chest moving up, arms in four corners, and then we have bottoms going back. So if I'm doing arms is on a low, lower level. So if I'm here on arms and on bottoms coming back, I'm taking my right foot, and I'm initiating and placing it, and that's my foot back. Make sense so far? So again, first footing pushing back. So I'm just gonna take the last arm into the bottom going back. So let's just take the last set holding into formation. Five, six, seven, eight. Taking the right foot. Now the hand doesn't move because I didn't require it to move. I didn't give a moment. Biggest mistake of steppers is that they, you, you just move your hands. Don't move your hands unless it's required. So you're here on arms, take the right foot. That's your first count. So it would be. Got it? So I think it's for the art of stepping and rumble system, we do level changes. That's for me very important when it comes to choreo. So we're gonna do the arms and then combine it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just moved up and down. So let's put it together. Okay, ready? Five, six. So we have chest, so let's put it together. Chest going up on the seven count. Arms on the four corner. and then bottom's going back. So you did the word cab, so that's how I was messing around with this, because if you notice, when you put the letters of the alphabet, you can create whatever word you want. So I did the word cab. Now the last thing is saying top left 90, top right 90. So uh, left right, this is my left side. So top left 90, top right 90. 
So that's the combination putting it together. So we have chest, arms, bottom, and then we're gonna straight through. So we're doing calves. So chest is forward, arms, 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 arm, bottom coming back. Ba, ba. Now the cool thing about it is that you can change the sound to it. You can put whatever sound you want to it. I really don't care, it's yours. It's whatever you want to do with it. And that's the cool thing about the ring language. You can bounce it off into whatever sound. Now, we're gonna do it into single hits, ready? We'll do it twice and then we're good to go. Uh, ready? Five, six, formation. Five, six, seven, eight. Try it one more time. All right, let's put it together. Five, six. So we're gonna put the combination again together. When we're done, I'll screen. I won't screenshot. I'm going great, great. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put it real close so that you can look at. I'm sorry about my hair looking crazy. It's been a long day in the studio. And we're on recital. Okay, you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. So this is what I am going to show you right now. This is the code that you're actually doing. So you did chest moving up, arms in four corners, bottom moving down, you did top left 90, top right 90. So you're able to combine all the codes together using your movements that I showed you. Arrow moving up, down, four corners, and the one second pause. Once you start going into that choreography, you can start playing with it and start messing around with it. Again, these are things that you can look at and work with when you go into the rumble system. And this is how we were able to break up choreography when we do different sections, different sounds. Okay, so that is it. I know I look like I'm out of breath because I'm a little bit out of it today. Um, do you guys have any questions? No? No questions? Okay, well, thank you guys so much for watching the movement section. Um, this is the Remo system. We are a trademark and copyrighted program that teaches step through a written language. We're super excited to be here. We currently have remote programs that are in nationally, and we've been expanding internationally, working with organizations such as Step Lords, which are a wonderful organization, follow Step Lord on, they're here, S-T-E-P-L-O-R-D, period, S-N, um, on Instagram. They're a very inspirational group of men and women. They have a sorority there too, in West Africa. They're young, they're innovative, and they're awesome. Also follow House of Remo if you haven't, it's my personal IG, information of how everything that's happening in our house from World of Step, Art of Stepping, and it was tattooed, and of course, the World of Step Media. Um, we have launched our first season, World of Step Media, which you can find on Roku, uh, channel Roku, World of Step, or you can go to worldofstep.com and click on the website and click WSTV. Our second season will be airing in January 2021. We'll be airing backstage and the behind the scenes reality of what's been going on during the pandemic and how steppers have been trying to stay alive. So it's a lot going on, but uh, we're hanging in there and I hope you guys can hang in there. For more information about our after school program, please feel free to email us, um, info at artofstepping.com or follow us, DM us, and we'll send you information about our trademark curriculum program. Again, thank you so much for taking it and we'll see you. Have a good night and if we haven't said it already, which I probably have not, happy holidays, please be safe. And lastly, most importantly, Wear a mask, it is not a political statement, it's about saving lives. And we need all our lives to be saved, especially during this time. Thank you so much and have a good night.